Hello reformers and welcome back to Fantasy Cal Radio. Now when we left off we completely obliterated the Delthusum Empire with the new reinforcement mechanics in place from the face of the earth. Uh, well, technically from the face of Cal Radio, I suppose. But there has been another patch to further refine the reinforcements and their mechanics because apparently because I have undead units that was causing a bit of a <laughs> bit of an issue so I suppose we're gonna try them out in the Siege of Barry yes I decided that the Serenids would probably be the most logical faction next to attack because the orcs are also doing a little bit of attacking of their own as you could maybe see there on the map before we went into this screen here They've taken Shawa Castle from the Serenids, and they're just going to continue taking it. So the best thing for us to do, try and take more than they can, because if they're going to get rolling, they're going to be very, very difficult to stop. Anyway, let us lead our soldiers in an assault here. Do bear in mind, there's only 175? Oh, I'm a bit perplexed by this, a bit confused, because I actually don't know why they only have 175 in the garrison here. But because they only have 175, I'm literally just going to be telling everyone to go in here and seeing what we can do. Now bear in mind, oh, there's the Balrog, yes. There's the Balrog dealing his damage just like we know him to deal. And he'd be a very, all right, well, suffice it to say, he can deal some good things and that would make him very good in Vegas, wouldn't he? He'd be very good in Vegas. Anyway, point is, what I'm going to try to do as soon as possible is become a lich. I think that would be very, very fun. And the only problem with that is that there's so many things that I currently want to accomplish in the game, with the exception of obviously, you know, taking over the entirety of the map, because that's going to happen hopefully sooner rather than later. Who knows? You know, we're, we're, we're doing pretty well. We're getting a pretty decent amount of progress and being able to take things at a decent pace. And, well, becoming a Lich is going to cost us 50,000, as well as, of course, acquiring the Dawn Gem and the Azure Gem and, and whatever other gem I need, and obviously a scroll of Vampiric Bolt, and we need a bunch of, a bunch of different ingredients for that and you also need 50,000 as I said and on the other side of things I actually still want to get the twilight armor yes unfortunately there there we go there we go the stubborn defenders sally out and they get absolutely murdered immediately by our huge amounts of shadow wizards and their charged starves and there's also haste apparently someone here has haste and they're not afraid to use it because we are super boosted we are literally super just look, look at how look at how fast i can run yes look at that that is insane i wonder does the haste spell actually stack hmm i don't think it does but if it no i i, I don't think it does but just think about this for a second a barbarian with very little armor huge amounts of athletics specs a little bit into magic power. I think you need four or five in magic power to be able to use haste. And, and 15 intelligence is a pretty easy number to get to. And let's just say that they use haste and they're using some insane weapon, like maybe the scimitar of speed or something along those lines. And then they just literally destroy everything. Wow, that sound effect. Wow, that is, that is very loud. That is very loud. But you can imagine the kinds of builds that you can come up with if you decide to combine strengths and everything with each other. And we have had a bit of a discussion on that in the past, you know, surrounding a necromancer cleric. Necromancer clerics can work, but as far as I'm aware, you cannot start as a cleric and then become a necromancer. So that's a bit unfortunate, but you can do it the other way around. So that's pretty cool. But anyway, there you go. We are continuing to murder them, and that's it. Done. Done and dusted. And we're going to be taking necromancers, thank you very much. And we could technically take some of these crushers and these ogres, but I suppose what we're going to be doing sometime is, you know, 
tackling the orcs, so I don't know whether it's worth it. I mean, I guess I could, and then just put them in the garrison. I suppose that would make the most sense. There we go. Take a couple of those as well, and... Is there anything else? Yeah, I guess we could take a couple of raiders or something, but yeah. I think I'm actually going to try taking a little bit of prisoner management as well, because I think there is a certain thing that needs to be checked, and I think I probably want to do that. So anyway, let's go and manage the garrison here. Just place these guys in there. And um, because we took out so many units, I'm going to try to place my shadows in here as well, because... Well, there's probably going to be a whole bunch of skeletons and zombies going to join us, and it would be kind of nice for us to have the space. Oh, I have no money. Are you serious? Uh, yeah, okay. So the reason why I have no money, by the way, is because I actually took 30000 out of the treasury, and I put it in the Gnomish Bank in the off-screen time, because, let's face it, the Gnomish Bank is the only place where I'm actually going to gain a suitable amount of cash, and so that's the reason why I was deciding to do that. And maybe we could... Oh, no, I still can't... Oh, yes, I, I, I somehow had some kind of memory loss instantly there. And I was like, oh, I, I must have money to be able to level these guys up. But no, no, unfortunately not. Okay, so yeah, we're going to be specking into some strength here just in preparation for Twilight Armor. I don't know how, uh, you know, I don't know how heavy it is or anything, but hopefully it's going to be okay for us to use without severely impeding our speed. All right, so we do have Emir Atis over there who is attempting maybe to besiege Barry. That is not a very good idea. Lich King Malyron is <laughs> rather amusingly only raiding one village over and over. Is that true? No, it doesn't seem like that's true. He just raided that village over there. It seems like he's not really wanting to attack the Obsidian Spire for some reason. He surely outnumbers the garrison there, so that's, that's kind of strange. Uh, amusingly enough, I have about the same color as the Saranids, so yeah, it might be a little bit confusing. There's my current wealth in the treasury at the moment, but considering I own Barry, you know what I could do? I could literally just go in here and speak to my, my Chamberlain. That would probably make the most sense. There we go. Hello there, Aubrey. That's his name. Let's withdraw 10,000. And then we'll see what we can do about leveling up those necromancers. Thank you very much. Yes. Let's get some more Shadow Knights. I'm going to try and start converting most of our greater shadow warriors into shadow knights instead of shadow wizards now because as time goes on things are going to get harder and harder and we're going to need those more survivalist kind of units in comparison to glass cannons so yeah anyway let's see what happens here with this fellow because he might decide ah oh, lich king malyron is being annoying maybe i should go over there and try and kill him. That might make sense. Actually, let, let's do that. Let's let's just kill Emir Atis because he's being annoying. I, no, I'm not going to make peace with you. Thank you very much. Anyway, we have 264 against his 80 or so. And, well, I would assume that our mages should be able to eliminate him very, very easily indeed. Ah, new enemies have arrived and reinforcements have arrived as well. That's actually pretty cool. I do like that quite a bit, because we now have 120 and they have 79, and a fireball has their name on it. Did it did it do anything? No. Did that did that do anything? No. Apparently, it's just flying over them. That is kind of disappointing. I gotta say. Uh, yes. I well, you know me. I'm not particularly good with spells from long range, at the very least. Maybe I'm able to restore some of my magic power and then I might be able to do it. But from my reckoning, it's probably going to be too late. Ah, no, I don't want to switch to first person and then third person all the time. Thank you very much. There we go. Good work, Shadow Knight. Yes, did a good did a good thing right there. All right, so I still don't have enough. I'm, I, I actually did look, by the way. I did look for some Necromancer armor in the marketplace at Obsidian Spire, and they just don't have anything. 
they don't have anything. No necromancer gear whatsoever. So I would assume I'm going to have, uh, have to either wait there for some time, even though I did actually wait there for about a week, just to see whether I could actually get something. And uh, yeah, otherwise, I'm not entirely sure. I guess we're just going to have to wait until the Twilight Armor comes around. But that's that's a long time in the future. I mean, we have about 70,000 or so in the Gnomish Bank. And as you could see in my treasury, I have about 10,000 left over. I have about 10,000 in my own inventory. So technically, we have about 100,000 altogether, approximately. And that's not too bad. I mean, that's, that's pretty decent. But obviously, we need another 100,000 on top of that to be able to get the Twilight Armor. And at that point, we're probably going to own the entirety of the lower map. Or at least, I think we should probably own the entirety of the Saranid territory, and maybe the entirety of the Orcish and Kurgit territory as well. That would be pretty advantageous for us. I don't really want to fight the Drow, because the Drow are pretty formidable, and I'm not entirely sure if we're up to the task. Maybe we are, maybe we're not. Anyway, I'm going to just tell my people to go in here and eliminate the last guy, and there you go. Okay, that's not too bad. All right, so let us go down and hunt for the Lich King. Yes, we're going to... Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> we probably don't want to do that just yet because I just gained 69 skeletons. So let's go and put those in here. There we go. And just going to level up a couple of these as well. I, I do know that Jeremus does need to level up. I'm not ignoring him. It's just... Well, I kind of am. <laughs> I kind of am ignoring him, but... Yes, it's because it's not really going to do too much when we have so many undead units, so I'm kind of just leaving it for a little bit. I literally don't have any more space. Yeah. I mean, I, no more food. And a lot of space for a lot of food. But unfortunately, I don't have anything, so we're going to have to head down to the Obsidian Spire and see what we can do about getting something. I did actually purchase a couple of things at the Obsidian Spire in terms of food, and it seems like that has already been eaten. By who? By who? <laughs> I actually have no idea. All right, so uh, there's some bread, fine fruit, but there's not two fruit here. That's a bit unfortunate. Because uh, I, I would otherwise try to preserve the fruit and make it a little bit better for us in terms of usability, but unfortunately that's not going to happen. Okay, so we're going to have to wait until Lich King Malyron decides to raid another village. Alright, so after a lengthy waiting time around the Obsidian Spire kind of area, I decided to go on a bit of a patrol, and unfortunately that has not yielded any results in the way of finding Lich King Malyron. So it seems like he has either vacated the area and is deciding, hey, you know what, there seems to be a bunch of rich villages up in the north, and he's going to go up there and, you know, uh, be a bit annoying in that respect. Or he's just decided that, you know, let bygones be bygones and, you know, maybe he's allowing us to just do whatever we so desire. Who knows? But other than that, we've had a couple of Saranid villages, well, Sar Saranid villages, we've had a couple of vassals attack our villages from the Saranids and they've been a bit annoying, to be honest. Yes, a bit annoying. I did actually do a battle with one of the Saranid vassals. He had about 100 units, and the reinforcements... Ah, reinforcements have arrived. Look at that. Reinforcements have arrived. New enemies have arrived. Whoa, okay. We're, yeah, we're gaining We're gaining all of our forces. Every single one of our forces has just has just spawned in. So we are... <laughs> we, this is going to be fun. This is going to be very fun. Okay, let's have a look and see if I can just do a bit of barbecue. Okay, that did not work out too well. Uh, we are getting a bunch of really... Wow, okay. I, I I don't even know what's happening. I don't know what's happening, but I do know that there are a lot of units on the battlefield right now. So let's see if we're able to handle this without getting absolutely murdered. There we go. Yes. Okay, all right, all right. So, yeah, as you can see, <laughs> they... Oh, yeah. Yeah, it seems like G. Sanders has completely fixed the reinforcement issue, with the exception of maybe lower-end computers maybe not being able to handle the increased load of the reinforcements. I think they did actually say something like that in a comment recently, so do bear in mind that if you are 
if you are running a lower end PC, I mean, that's the thing. My PC is pretty old right now, so yeah, it was giving me, I'm actually still running at sub 30 FPS, so do bear that in mind if you are going to update to M4 or M5, because I'm currently running M5, and well, personally, I feel like it is a big, big improvement over M4, because then you don't only get to kill 72 units every single time, you actually get to kill a couple more, and it's a little bit more interactive, and I like that. So, yeah, the only unfortunate thing is, of course, that there are just so many, but I, I guess in the end it will be fixed 100%. So let's just let's just try and focus a little bit here and try and kill this guy, and then maybe we might be able to. Let's just drop down on this cart here. I was actually thinking that I might be able to get around the side and maybe do a little bit of damage. Oh yeah, here we go. Okay, now that's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. Unfortunately, they were able to survive one fireball, so I'm going to have to go in here and eliminate them with good old-fashioned steel or whatever my sword is made of because it is a vampiric blade, of course. So maybe it's made of some, some kind of magical metal. But from what I can tell, that is indeed a victory. A very nice victory indeed. And that's exactly my point. I thought that... Barry would be much, much more difficult, but obviously it only had 176 units in the garrison. This is very different, however, because of course it has, well, vastly more than that. As you can see, it has 291, according to the casualty report. There you go. Seven renown, very nice indeed, and we were able to eliminate all of them. And now, here's the thing. I've decided that maybe it would be a good idea to have a little bit of a code when it comes to taking Vassal's prisoner. And I'm thinking the code is going to be every native Vassal, so in other words, Serenids, Vagiers, Nords, etc. We're going to take them prisoner for a little bit of an extra boost in our, you know, in our money situation, because obviously we do need that Twilight Armor and we need Lichdom as well. We could actually do Lichdom already, so maybe I should do that. I think in the next episode we'll probably become a Lich. I think that could be really fun. And yeah, and otherwise, every other vassal, so if we're going to fight the Orcs, for example, we're probably going to let those guys go because then they have an increased chance of joining us. And I think that could be pretty cool too. All right, so is there anyone, anything else around here? Uh, we could take a couple of these. Elwyn Enchantress. Let's take some Ogres, a Spell Sword. Stalker as well, an Elven Forest Runner, and an Archer, and a Huntress, and what else are we going to be getting here? And that actually seems to be all we can take, because we are now at capacity, so let us continue onward, and I'll take a little bit of loot just to sell it. And I'm going to be deferring appointment once again, and I think I'm actually just going to be plundering it, because, I mean, uh oh. Well, we lose honor. Who cares? We're a necromancer. We are evil. You know, we're not. We're not meant to have honor, technically. So yeah. Anyway, I am going to. Yeah, that's exactly what I mean. Okay, I made. I made an error there. I was actually going to place these in the garrison, and I clicked leave without thinking. So now we lost a bunch of people that we could have put in the garrison here, but. Uh, how, how much does it really matter? I don't know. It matters a little bit, but not too much, because if there are any Serenid vassals that are in the area, it's highly unlikely that they'll be able to take this with us in the area. So, you know, as long as we don't just leave and then just, you know, completely drop all responsibility in regards to this castle, then we should be absolutely fine. Anyway, that will be it for this episode. Next time we're going to become a Lich and we're going to continue our domination of the Serenids. I thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.